If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm today to get started. Hello, self-developers, and welcome to the Patrick Kelly Podcast for Self-Development, where I will be reviewing all of the books on self-development that can change your life for the better this year and years to come. It is said that if we keep on doing what we always did, we will keep on getting what we always got. In other words, to change our output, we first have to change our input. Today is June 20th, 2021, and this is episode 23, and today we'll be reviewing the audible book, Take the Stairs, Seven Steps to Achieving True Success by Rory Vaden. This audible book will teach you how to skip the escalator and instead take the stairs to success. There is one thing that all successful people have in common. Successful people have all had to do things that they did not feel like doing in order to get where they are. Success is never easy. Success is not overnight. Success is not ordinary. Success requires us to do things that unsuccessful people do not ordinarily do. Success requires us to do things we don't want to do. Successful people have the discipline to do things even when they do not feel like doing them. Take the Stairs is all about self-discipline. The ability to take action regardless of your emotional state, financial state, or physical state. If we want to be successful, we have to take the stairs. Success is never owned, it is only rented, and the rent is due every day. Step number one, sacrifice. The paradox principle. Procrastination amplifies our problems and we are the ones who pay the price. The short-term easy leads to the long-term difficult, while the short-term difficult leads to the long-term easy. We must always base our decisions on long-term logic. Success is the aggregate subtotal of small, seemingly insignificant choices that when compounded over time, create the trajectory of our lives. The person who makes the sacrifice is a person that gets to give. That is why gifts come in mysterious ways. Step number two, commitment, the buy-in principle. The more we have invested into something, the less likely we are to let it fail. There will never be a perfect time. There will never be a perfect person. There will never be a perfect situation to start doing the things that we need to do to get us where we want to go. The real problem isn't the situation, the real problem is us. A life of average comes from having an average attitude. If we are not consciously choosing a good attitude, then we are unconsciously choosing a poor one. Indecision often costs you more than the wrong decision ever will. The cost of missing out is more than the cost of messing up. There is always a way when you are committed. Success is not a matter of circumstances, it is a matter of choice. Step number three, focus, the magnification principle. Focus is power. In order to improve our self-discipline, we have to improve our focus. Without focus, we get diluted results. We have to minimize the distractions that occur in our life. In the absence of disciplined focus, we become strangely loyal to performing daily acts of trivia. We manage our thoughts, our words, and our behavior in order to stay focused. Mastery of our mind precedes the movement of our body. Permanent changes in our actions have to be reinforced by permanent changes in our thinking. We become what we think about. What we focus on, we tend to bring about. When we are not thinking about our thinking, our mind starts to think on its own. 
Our vision is a path to focus. The more clearly we can see our vision, the more we can focus on it. And the more we can focus on it, the more it draws us to take action. Don't pay attention to the things we don't first give our intention to. Step number four, integrity, the creation principle. We have the power to alter change into our lives by first carefully choosing our words and then living into them. Most people don't realize the impact of their words on themselves and others. Words have power, the power to add meaning and the power to diminish meaning, the power to give life and the power to take it away. Words are the engine that sets actions in motion. With concrete integrity, you can create anything you want for your life. Undisciplined people are often afraid to make commitments. The most powerful people in the world listen first, process the information, and then respond. Integrity is one of the only things you take with you everywhere you go. You are in charge of creating the world around you. You think it, you speak it, you act, it happens. All you have to do is fit it all in. Step number five, schedule the harvest principle. With an infinite number of options vying for our attention, life can become very cluttered and disorganized. The simple take the stairs solution to this problem is not doing everything that we can do in a day, but rather to do everything that we should do in a day. It is all about balance. Balance means that you are spending critical time on priorities. Focus effort is magnified by appropriate timing and regiment routine. You have to ask yourself, what is the most effective thing that I could be doing right now with the time available? This small question can yield massive results. Focus yields power, combining focus with timing and you truly have a powerful combination. Discipline creates freedom, but timing is everything. Step number six, faith, the perspective principle. To change your behavior, change your perspective. When we lose faith in the future and we lose focus on where today fits into the greater timeline of the history of our lives, then we have no basis for perspective. The size of today's challenges is measured only against the shortness of today. The extent of our faith determines the term of our perspective, and the term of our perspective determines the size of our problems. Sometimes we have to make choices not out of a lack of discipline, but out of a lack of perspective and faith. Yet with limited perspective, we make decisions that lead to pain. Without limited perspective, we have no explanation of tragedy. Broadening our perspective allows us to have peace of mind. Our ability to have peace is directly proportioned to the term of our perspective. Step number seven, action, the pendulum principle. The law of the pendulum states that once the pendulum is released, it cannot return to a point higher than the point from which it was released. The law of action states that it does not matter what we say we believe, our real beliefs are revealed by how we act. Being a successful person requires that you take action. Wisdom is the application of knowledge. Everything is manifested in action. It is all about short-term discomfort for long-term results. You are much more likely to act your way into healthy thinking than to think your way into healthy acting. Procrastination seductively destroys our dreams more than any other controllable force. Fear is a fictional story created by our minds. Fear means false evidence appearing real. Feel the fear and do it anyway because action is a cure for fear. Be relentless about making progress. Closing thoughts. On a scale of one to five, I would give this audible book a solid five for providing seven steps on how to take the stairs to success. To find out more about this audible book, go to www.audible.com and download this audible book or go to www.roryvaden.com for more information. Please share this episode via text or email with friends and family and other people that you care about. And if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, please leave a review. For more episodes of the Patrick Kelly Podcast for self-development, go to www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com. If you would like to donate a dollar or more to the support of this podcast, click the donate button at www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com and buy me a coffee and I'll be sure to thank you on the next episode.
This is the end of this podcast for today. Tune in next week Sunday for the next episode and the next Audible book of over 300 books that I'll be reviewing on the Patrick Kelly podcast for self-development. If you enjoy this podcast, take a moment to rate and review on Apple Podcasts. This really helps me out. Feel free to share this podcast with someone you care about. And remember, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Take care.